Welcome to the Secrets of the Bible channel. Today we embark on a journey into the heart of one of the most profound questions that has echoed throughout the corridors of time. Why did God create us? This question transcends mere curiosity. It strikes at the very core. Core of our existence challenging us to explore the depths of divine purpose and human significance. As we delve into the sacred pages of the Bible, we'll navigate through the stories, teachings, and wisdom that illuminate this enigmatic question. From the opening verses of Genesis to the climactic revelations of the New Testament, we'll uncover layers of meaning that reveal God's intricate design and our place within His grand narrative. So prepare your hearts and minds as we embark on this transformative journey together, seeking to understand the profound mystery of our creation and our calling in the divine symphony of existence. Once. Once. Why did God create us? God, being a creative being, takes pleasure in the act of creation itself. Additionally, as a personal being, God derives joy from establishing genuine relationships with other beings. In the process of creation, the pinnacle was reached with the creation of humanity, indicating that the best was saved for last. Genesis 1-27-29 describes how God created humans in His own image, male and female, and blessed them, instructing them to multiply, fill the earth, and exercise dominion over it. Unlike animals, which were commanded to multiply, humans were intentionally created in the likeness of God endowed with spiritual, rational, and moral faculties. This unique status grants humans capacities such as eternal life, moral discernment, self-awareness, speech, and worship, setting them apart from the animal kingdom. Despite the fall, humans still bear the image of God, although it has been marred. The use of the plural pronoun. We in James 3, 9 suggests a majestic, plural in Hebrew grammar. Genesis 2, 22, 24 further elaborates on the creation of woman from man, emphasizing the unity of marriage and the establishment of family bonds. Dominion does not define the essence of humanity, but rather emerges as a result of bearing the divine image. Hebrews 2, 7, 10 explains this concept by highlighting that humans were initially made lower than angels, but were crowned with glory and honor with everything they possessed placed under their authority. This dominion, however, is not yet fully realized as evidenced by Jesus, who through suffering, was crowned with glory and honor, serving as the pioneer of salvation, 1 Corinthians 15 to 27, 28, further elucidates that all things are subjected under God with the Son, also submitting to the Father, resulting in God being all in all as beings, created in the image and likeness of God. Humans possess the capacity to know, worship, serve, and commune with Him. God's act of creation was not out of necessity, but stemmed from His love, which transcends any need. Even without humanity, God's eternal existence remains unaltered, as expressed in Malachi 3.6 and Exodus 3.14. The phrase, I am, encapsulates God's eternal satisfaction with His own being. In creating the universe, God acted in accordance with His perfect nature, resulting in a creation deemed very good. Genesis 131. In essence, the ultimate reason for God's creation of humanity lies in His own pleasure. B Revelation 411 declares the worthiness of God to receive glory, honor, and power, because He is the creator of all things, bringing them into existence according to His will. Colossians 116 echoes this sentiment, affirming that all things were created by Him and for Him. However, being created for God's pleasure doesn't imply that humanity exists merely to amuse or entertain Him, rather God, as a creative being, finds joy in the act of creation itself. The question of why we are here is deeply tied to questions of purpose and personal value, shaping how we perceive ourselves and engage with the world. While some may attribute human existence to chance, Genesis 127 asserts that humans were intentionally created by an intelligent creator to rule over his creation, made in his image. Yet humanity's disobedience led to estrangement from God. Introducing sin and death into the world in this state, we often ponder our identity and purpose. However, our ultimate purpose remains to bring glory to God and make him known in a fallen world. Isaiah 43, 7 emphasizes that we are created for God's glory. While Matthew 19 commissions believers to spread the message of God's authority and our existence is not accidental, numerous biblical passages affirm that our purpose is to glorify God as He is our Creator and the source of our life. Ecclesiastes 12 
13 encapsulates this sentiment by stating that fearing God and obeying His commandments is the duty of every person. Augustine of Hippo eloquently captures our innate longing and ultimate purpose in his confessions, stating that God has created us for Himself and our hearts remain restless until they find rest in Him. This fundamental truth applies individually to each of us, as Psalm 139.16 suggests that God's plan for our lives is intricately personal, with every detail carefully written in his book before we even came into existence. Our primary reason for existence is to reconcile with God, who commands all people to repent, as stated in Acts 1730. Jesus Christ sacrificed himself on our behalf, as depicted in Romans 5, 6-8, demonstrating God's profound love for us by dying for our sins, even while we were still sinners. Through his resurrection, he conquered sin and death, offering us the opportunity to rest, restore our broken relationship with God that originated from humanity's fall. Romans 5 9 10 further emphasizes that through repentance and faith in Jesus' death and resurrection, we are justified and saved from God's. The Bible emphasizes God's desire for all to repent and be saved, underscoring His mercy and grace extended to humanity. 2 Peter 3 9 reassures that God's apparent delay in fulfilling His promise is actually His patience, as He desires for all to repent rather than perish. Our purpose is to serve and follow the Lord, as Ecclesiastes 12, 13 emphasizes that fearing God and keeping His commandments is the duty of every person. Serving the King of the universe holds the highest significance, as Psalm 8410 illustrates the value of even the lowest position in God's presence over worldly wealth and fame. While some may seek pleasure, wealth, or fame, Ecclesiastes warns that such pursuits are futile. One primary reason for our existence is to prepare for the journey after death, as Hebrews 9, 27 indicates that everyone will face judgment. Eternal perspective, questioning the worth of gaining the whole world at the expense of one's soul. Understanding, glorifying and serving the Lord provide the answer to our purpose. Even mundane tasks can be done to glorify God as 1 Corinthians 1031 suggests. Since the Lord created each of us uniquely, we can glorify Him in our own distinct ways, utilizing our personalities, talents, and gifts. Burn Peter 4 10 11 instructs believers to utilize their individual gifts to serve others faithfully, recognizing themselves as stewards of God's grace in its diverse expressions. Whether speaking or serving, believers are encouraged to do so with the strength provided by God, ultimately aiming to bring praise to Him through Jesus Christ. Psalms 139 1314 acknowledges God's God's intimate involvement in forming every individual, leading the psalmists to praise Him for their wonderful creation. The text underscores that God deserves all praise and glory for creating loving and redeeming humanity through Christ, and believers' lives should reflect His grace and goodness. Contemplating the universe's vastness and life's intricate complexity invites individuals on a journey of profound introspection regarding their existence and purpose. Life, with its transient moments and enduring existential questions, prompts individuals to seek meaning beyond materialism, delving into the spiritual realm. Human existence is portrayed as an odyssey, challenging individuals to unravel the mystery of their essence, crafted in the image of a creator who invites them to share in his glory and participate in his eternal work, is found not in definitive answers, but in embracing the questions, embracing the mystery and finding beauty in the pursuit. Every breath and act of love and kindness reflects the divine presence, urging individuals to look beyond the material world's veil. Along this journey, we discover that true fulfillment lies not in amassing wealth or chasing fleeting pleasures, but in nurturing a pure heart and selflessly giving to others. Through service, love, and forgiveness, we draw closer to our humanity's essence and reflect the image of our Creator. Jesus Christ embodies the ultimate response to humanity's timeless questions about purpose, love, and redemption through His life teachings and sacrificial death on Calvary. His example of unconditional love offers each heart that embraces him the key to understanding our identity and purpose. In a world fraught with uncertainty and relentless searching, Jesus reveals himself as the way, the truth, and the life, guiding us toward reconciliation with God and awakening our true identity as children of the Most High. He invites us to embark on an inward journey of transformation, where love service to others demonstrate our active faith. 
placing Jesus Christ at the center of our lives unveils a purpose that transcends temporal and material constraints, connecting us intimately with the Father's heart. The Gospel's message brimming with hope and renewal resounds throughout history, inviting all humanity to participate in a salvation story that culminates in Christ through acts of kindness, comfort, and self-sacrifice. For others, good. We emulate the Master and become beacons of hope in a world yearning for illumination. If you seek reconciliation with Jesus Christ, for straying from His path or desire to begin a journey toward eternal salvation, declare, I accept you, Lord Jesus, as my soul, Lord and Savior. As we draw to a close on this exploration of why God created us, may the revelations we've encountered resonate deeply with, the within our spirits igniting a flame of awe and wonder for the divine purpose woven into the fabric of our being. Through the sacred tapestry of Scripture, we've glimpsed the profound love of our Creator who fashioned us in His image and entrusted us with stewardship over His creation. Let us embrace the truth that our lives are not mere accidents or coincidences, but intentional expressions of God's boundless creativity and unfathomable love. May this understanding propel us forward with renewed purpose and passion as we seek to glorify God in all that we do, reflecting His image and spreading His love to a world in need. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey through the scriptures.